All right, here we are with the Motorola VE20 and the Motorola V3M. Uh, we're going to be focusing on the phone on the right today, uh, but as we can see compared to the V3M, they're very similar in size. Both razors um, are about the same height as well as depth here, top to bottom. Um, biggest difference is going to be in the width. The VE20 is a little bit uh, shorter or more narrow and then adds a very nice rounded feature on the top or on the edges here as well as the top and bottom making it a little bit easier and more comfortable to slide in and out of your pocket or purse if that's the case. Um, we'll slide the V3M out of the way here as we're going to be focusing on just the VE20. Um, looking at the phone right off the bat we can see that uh, on the top we have a very nice 2.0 megapixel camera um, unfortunately without a flash. We'll flip here to the left hand side of the phone and we can see that we have the dedicated volume keys on the top or on the left hand side. Uh, right next to that is the smart button um, and we'll come back to that in just a minute. On the bottom behind this nice flap we have our micro USB charging and data port and then rotating the phone around to the right we have a very nice and well done 3.5 millimeter headphone jack for standard audio connections to listen to the music or video features of this phone. On the top we have another dedicated button for the camera options on the phone and we will rotate to the back. As you can see Motorola has added on this nice anodized red color on the battery button here and then on the speakerphone and hinges. So we'll press this release tab, slide the back down to see that this is a very nice metal cover compared to the plastic of the previous phones. Underneath here we have um, a little bit better battery than the V3M had. This is a 910 milliamp hour battery rated at 4 hours of talk time and 230 hours of standby. Um, underneath the battery we have a micro SD card slot uh, able to support up to 8 gigs of memory allowing for plenty of room for pictures and videos. I'll slide this cover back on here and go back to the front. If we hit one of the side buttons, we can see a very nice 1.6 inch screen, which is 60 by 120 pixels, and has the same touch features that the Razer 2 had to offer. If we press and hold the smart key, it'll disable the safety guard on here, and we can press and hold either the music, menu, or messaging option. If we, oh, if we press and hold this, it'll disable it. There we go and press and hold the menu key. Now using the volume keys we can scroll up and down through the list and hit the smart button to select any of them. We're going to hit back and we're going to go into the music option. This is launching the Sprint Music Store and it'll automatically start playing music that we've downloaded. And it's kind of hard to tell in the video but the speaker phone on here is outstanding continuing on Motorola's tradition of very good clean speaker phones. Um, you can use this in both listening to music as well as in phone calls. Now flipping the screen open, the ap application continues to run, and now we have the option of hitting the end button and sending this program to the background where we can continue to use the phone. If we go back in here to the music, we can turn this off and exit the application. Returning back to the basic features of the phone, we can see that uh, it keeps the traditional Razer number pad with the one piece metal case or uh, pad on here, separated by kind of a gelled coated numbers, um, giving the user real nice uh, separation between each number for text messaging. Um, the old Razer was a little bit more cumbersome and confusing with the layout of the keys. Above the keys, we have the talk and end button, as well as dedicated speakerphone, back button, and left and right soft keys. In the center, we have the menu button and a very clean directional pad. When we light up the screen, we can see that the left soft key is set to favorites, and the right one is set to contacts. By hitting the favorites option, we can see that Motorola has set this with things like My Account, MySpace, Facebook, and we've gone ahead and added the uh, MLB live game so we can keep track of the Brewers. Uh, something that you'll notice right off the bat is this is a very nice, large, clean display. This is a 2.2 inch QVGA quality screen with 240 by 320 pixels. Very, very nice, very, very clean. Uh, kind of as a whole, this phone has very nice speaker call quality for the internal speaker. Uh, we haven't had many issues with dropped calls. Battery life has been pretty good, and for those of you that are fans of the Razer series, I think you're going to be real impressed with this phone. Enjoy.